I'm Tom, I took care of the Wildcat Test and see. Let's go and see what we're going to do. So this is their programme today. They all start with a robust circuit and it kind of makes them warm up before they start the main lift. Um, it builds capacity and tissue tolerance to make sure they're prepared and durable uh, in the programme. Okay. This is the main session what they're going to do today. I tested them the other day, so they're doing deadlifts at 85%. They're going to go through with a hard jump and a broad jump as well. Moving on to some glute bridges and RDLs, and the bench press the TRX over upper body. They've been running this program a while now, so they're quite advanced in the program. Um, so let's go have a look and see what they're doing. We're just going to watch Rachel do, sorry, Hannah do her deadlift set. This is programmed from her percentage, so we'll see how it looks. So we're looking for good technique here. Yeah. Oh, back's gone. Do a good, good, good one. Do a good one. Let's go. That's better. Good. Nice and tall. Well done. So we'll follow immediately to the second part of the exercise, which is super set. So we're going to do a trap bar jump. And what Nikki's doing here. So Nikki does like, really good force outputs. Yeah, good. So that's the second part of the exercise. We do a heavy deadlift, followed by a reasonably heavy trap bar jump, and then we go into a broad jump, which is purely body weight. See who's doing something. There we go. When we look at the three exercises together, the heavy deadlift is all about expressing max force. We've got the trap bar jump, which is our exercise, which is reasonably loaded, and our broad jump is pure body weight. So we're all getting too sciencey. Um, we've got three kind of curves on the spectrum of force velocity, and we're just trying to hit all of those force curves. So this is a glute bridge. It's all about trying to develop strength through the glutes. Um, the idea is to get the bar right really close to the pubic bone on here. Dump out the heel through. We get a nice big force using our kind of hip bridge and a hip like thrust through the bar. Yeah. So this is our RDL exercise, working on the posterior chain of the hamstring. Yeah, good. Just checking, just checking. So the idea is here to try and move our hips backwards, we get the head in front of the bar but still keep a nice flat back. And you get a really good stretch through the hamstrings here. And obviously we know in football, hamstrings are notorious for pulling, uh, normally through bad warm-ups. So if we can make these hamstrings bulletproof, then hopefully I can make Lee have a nice full squat to pick from. So the same with lower body development, we also have to work upper body as well. Um, and the bench press is really good for working upper body strength and the pushing movement. So as a centre back, get your knees upper body strength and if we can get her really strong, like fending off defenders and sorry, attackers, um, then to win more 50-50s, we can just up the headers better. And she can like display more force and power that way. So that's a keep useful exercise. It's pushing movement, and the next one's a pulling movement. So always think about balance. So we're really about the front. We have to work the back as well. So the pulling movement is all about working the upper back. Otherwise, if you do too much bench, you end up with a dodgy posture. And it's no good. So we've got to make sure everything's balanced through the upper body as well. I don't think enough teams do S and C properly. Um, and if I can make these guys robust and give Lee a big squat to choose from, because. Uh, not injured all the time then that's a win-win for me um, and that's my aim really I just want to give Lee the best chance of fielding his strongest 11 all the time and I think SNC plays a really big part in this